it's a great occasion that uh, India is hosting the 13th Conference of Party for the uh, UNCMS program. So this is a fantastic occasion for our country. And uh, this is also an opportunity for our country to showcase the good works that they have been doing in wildlife conservation and uh, in general and migratory species conservation in particular for the last so many decades. And uh, this is also uh, important for the uh, important organization and the individuals who are involved in conservation of wildlife to imbibe the best practices which will be also on show during this particular period of COP which is being held in our country. India is actually proposing for three species uh, to be included in Appendix 1. Three species comprises of Indian elephant and uh, the great Indian bustard and uh, along with uh, uh, the Bengal florican and uh, dolphins. The great Indian bustard is also the uh, mascot for uh, this uh, particular cop and it has been named as GB, G-I-B-I. The expected outcome is, uh, uh, I'm told that there will be around eight, 10 species which will be considered uh, to be included in the Appendix 1. And uh, there will be issues uh, which are affecting the conservation of uh, the migratory species like uh, climate change, like uh, marine uh, pollution, like plastic pollution. All these issues are going to be taken up. And one of the most important thing uh, which is the theme of this COP is connectivity. And uh, the connectivity will be discussed and uh, you know the major issues of connectivity connecting between the landscape, connecting uh, between the countries and connecting uh, between the conventions will be discussed in details and we are hoping that uh, Gandhi Nagar declaration uh, will be coming out it will be coming out as a resolution uh, after the discussion in the high level segment it's a super year for biodiversity because uh, now we are holding the COP for CMS and uh, that will be followed by COP uh, of CBD in China. So this super year will lead to a super decade uh, for, from 20 to 30 and uh, all the uh, you know niggling issues regarding conservation will be taken care of. Uh, India has already laid out uh, a few or, you know, activities that will be taken up uh, during its presidency in the next triennium. The very first thing is that India is uh, uh, spearheading uh, the Central Asian Flyway uh, plan and uh, it is expected that they will continue to do so in the upcoming three years and take into fold 30 countries which are a part of the Central Asian Flyway. The second thing uh, that is on the anvil is the uh, creation of trans-frontier uh, national parks with our adjacent countries. So this is also going to be a game changer uh, in the near future. And the third thing that we are thinking of taking forward is the marine conservation because we have been doing uh, a lot of activities for the terrestrial species. India would like to take forward marine conservation and its related issue with uh, uh, different countries including ASEAN countries and EAS countries. And India also had a, a distinctive way of approaching wildlife conservation of taking people along what we call it as participatory way of management and this participatory way of management and empowering of people and making them a part of the system for wildlife conservation will continue to do so and we will be actually uh, you know uh, evolving further in this particular aspect and we can also be a source for learning from uh, for other countries